Hey, I'm Heather. I'm a sexuality empowerment coach. And originally today's video was going to be on rejection. Um, I got into a conversation with some people last night about, you know, the risks we take when we put ourselves out there and uh, and we make our asks and we let our desires be known and how that, you know, is, is a risk of rejection. So I thought, oh, great, I'll make this week's video uh, about that. But the more I was thinking about rejection, the more I started thinking about concepts of fairness and how sometimes often rejection doesn't seem fair. Um, and then for some reason, I got on the topic of, you know, you know, that saying all's fair and love and war. <sighs> the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, actually, very little is fair in love and definitely nothing's fair in war. So why do we have this saying anyways? I'm, I'm pretty sure it might be the most useless say, saying when it comes to relationships that I have ever heard. And I think I warned you guys way back at the beginning of me making this video that sometimes things would get ranty. So this might be one of those days. But here's the thing. Being fair and you know, that's aligned with justice and um, equality. And it requires actually listening to what people have to say when they express things, right? It shows, um, it means showing respect for other people's choices and not putting your own sense of entitlement over anyone else's sense of entitlement. So this concept of all is fair in love and war, not really, because you're not showing other people respect, you're not listening to their choices, you're often putting your wants and needs above anyone else's. So what can we actually do to shift things so there is a little more fairness in our relationships and our sexuality and our sex lives, all those things. I think if we want fairness and open and honesty in our relationships, then we actually have to start living this way, right? Um, when we approach people, we have to show them respect. We have to listen to what they have to say about the matter. We have to not put our sense of desire and our sense of entitlement above their right to say no, right to bodily autonomy, right to you know, not participate in anything that they don't want to participate in, not to be fetishized unfairly, not to have any non-consensual actions to them. So start treating people fairly. Start bringing fairness into your life if you want to be treated fairly in return. If you want straightforward, easy sexual negotiations, then actually start having them, right? And what do I mean by that? Stop beating around the bush and playing games around desire. Just, just be flat out about it. Now, you can be seductive and flat out about it, but, you know, empower yourself to say yes when you actually want to say yes. I promise you, if you start saying yes, when you mean it, it will change your life. And also, if you want more fairness in your life, start treating yourself fairly. And I think this might actually be the key point take home of today's message. Listen to what you have to say and consider whether or not you're treating yourself fairly. Respect the choices that you're making for yourself. Um, don't say yes unless you're a yes. Or as my friend Monique likes to say, don't say yes unless you're a hell yes. So I'm really curious about how other people seek to treat themselves fairly in their relationships and I and, and in their lives and in their sexuality and all those things. And I'm hoping um, that you guys will share that with me this week. Um, I'm going to do some thinking myself about what it means to treat myself fairly and consider whether or not I'm treating myself fairly in, in my sex life, in my in like the sex I have, like the actual act of sex, also my sex life in general and my sexuality in general. Um, am I respecting my choices? Am I asking for what I want? Am I treating people with the respect they reserve? Am I putting, you know, other people's entitlement over my sense of entitlement? Where's the balance on that thing? So I want to hear from you guys. Are you treating yourselves fairly? How do you treat yourselves fairly in relationships? I uh, hope you either comment below, you can hit me up on Facebook, or you can email me, heather at authenticsexualyou.com. See you next week.